Hello, my name is Rafam, and welcome back to the Outer Worlds. We are in space now. We must go somewhere. I don't know where we go, but we go somewhere. Um, we are here. Passage to anywhere? Oh, I guess we're here. What if I want to go somewhere? Phineas's lab. Eh, we'll go. We'll, we'll follow the story. Uh, uh, itchy. My eye itches. Welcome to the system map. Here you can see all the planets in the systems as well as some special points of interest that you may have discovered. You can fly your ship to any location that you have unlocked, though some landing bays require special codes and keys before they allow you to land there. Moving between planets is considered extremely dangerous, and all employees are encouraged to remain home or at work. Arrived at the Groundbreaker. Okay. Got a sec? Yeah, I do. Hey, Captain. I heard that Groundbreaker's got a real good engineer. A lady named June Lay Tennyson? Okay. Um. What about her? I was thinking that maybe I ought to meet her. If you got time to swing us by, I mean. <laughs> I don't got much experience fixing actual spaceships. I bet you a can of Borston beans she could teach me all manner of stuff. Uh, yeah, absolutely. Thanks, Captain. I'll be sure to make it worth your time. Oh, I'm Did sure you will. Did you want to talk about something else? Um, nope. They, they keep on trying to make me tell you to go away. I don't want to tell you to go away. I like you. You're fun. I want, I want you. Continue. I didn't bring the, uh, the priest with me. I don't know if that's a bad thing or not. I didn't like him. That he was a jerk. That he was an a-hole. There we go. Alright. First things first. Let's go to my journal. And we're going to go with... Drinking... Oh. We're gonna go with this one. The cleaning machine. Hey, Captain. Up in space. I never thought I'd be able to say that. Come on. Come along. Actually, let's talk to you. Just checking your ship's manifest. Oh, okay. Standard procedure. Welcome to Groundbreaker, by the by. Thanks. Uh... Uh, okay. That's not the point. This hat would just knock out one of my workers. Yeah, with a toss ball stick, I heard you the first time. There weren't any witnesses. No witnesses? He's not even denying it. Jackass had it coming. Shut it, Felix. You're not making this any better. You get two with me again, you little back bay brat, I will toss you out an airlock. This is the groundbreaker, not Byzantium. You ain't the law here. I am. Now move along. You sound like you need to get a different ideas. job, lady. Going for a stroll around the docking base? N no. I noticed you were in the middle of an argument sure earlier. Was. Got a knack for upsetting the board and the Mardettes all at once. Between you and me, I was hoping they'd come to fisticuffs. Ah, really? Um, I heard you knocked someone out with a toss ball stick. It's almost like you wanted to get arrested. Yeah, because I knocked my foreman out with a toss ball stick. But, to be fair, I wasn't the one who started it. The guy was insulting my Rizzo's Rangers. Look, if it's That's a, a reason to, to hit defend somebody. your favorite toss ball team against slander and calumny, well then lock me right up. Yes, most definitely you should be locked up. That is a you massive overreaction. If you'd been there. Guy never liked me, always trying to get a rise out of me. But I keep my oh. chin up, right? Be the bigger man, I tell myself. My lord. He's a spacer's chosen man, though. So when the chosen beat my rangers the other night, my foreman comes swaggering up with his head full of boasting. 
And that's when you resolve your differences like an adult, right? That's when I broadsided <laughs> him with a toss ball stick. Yeah. yeah. Look, this was a long time coming. Guy thinks he can push me around because he's some sky high foreman and I'm just a back bay's dock worker. Well, former dock worker. Guess I just tendered my resignation. Uh, you're just lucky you're not serving a sentence. You know something? I am lucky. I ought to raise a glass of zero G to my fortune, if I had the bits. Hey, not for nothing. But I saw you wander out of that ship over there by the dock. Wouldn't happen to be yours, would it? Yes, it's mine. No, you cannot come with me. You sound like a very angry and violent person. Captain of the Unreliable. Captain yeah. of the Unreliable. You're like something out of a serial drama. Hey, I don't want to talk your ears off, guessing you got places to be. I appreciate your time. Uh... Felix Millstone. Pleased to make your I get the feeling that he's going to try to either steal around, my ship boss. or hitch a ride on my ship. One or the other. Like, stow away on my ship. I can really use these. I'll take them. Thank you. Earrings. Model spaceship. Hide in the corner. Steal. Steal. You saw nothing? Everything's just fine? Just arrived? Head over to customs. Customs and inspection, right this way. Hi. Identification, please. Um. You've got a ship, but you've never visited Groundbreaker. Yes. You must have just dusted off from one of those dirt side outposts. Pretty much. Sure did. And now we're in space. Well, welcome to Groundbreaker. I'm sorry Thanks. to tell you this, but I'm about to ruin your day. Okay. According to your ship's record, you've been flagged by the board. Your ship will be impounded until such a time as they see fit to lift it. How do I you get this result? You want to take result? it up with Udom Bedford, our board representative here on Groundbreaker. Okay. His office is located along the starboard wall of the promenade. Shines like a Byzantium commode. You can't miss it. Okay. Any idea why my ship was impounded? That information is above my pay grade, and I've turned down three promotions, so it stays that way. Oh, I shouldn't be okay. mentioning it, but what the hell? This here, impounding your ship, it doesn't happen much. The board knows we don't take kindly to their interfering in our operations. If I oh. had to take a guess as to why, you must have riled up someone important. Um, great. I'll go talk to him and straighten this out. That's a mistake. I'm going to ring this Bedford guy's neck. I'll you take yeah. the starch out of him? Well, you won't hear any complaints from me. Ooh. Oh, you mean I can beat the crap out of him? Would you mind doing me a favor? Sure, why not? Wanda Dorset over in sickbay. Tell her the shipment's not in yet. It's not coming in anytime soon, and if she'd be so obliged to get off my ass about it. Okay, got it. Much <laughs> appreciated. Is there anything else I can help you with? I'm a messenger. I am not... Can I find a job around here? Maybe. Most of the shipping traffic in the system passes through Groundbreaker. Every couple of months, we even get a big interstellar freighter. Ooh. Two biggest operations are the board. That is, Halcyon okay. Holdings and Sublight Salvage. Okay. But there are independent operators around the promenade deck. Most of those jobs are going to take you off station, though. Okay. I'm looking for something a little Come more local. Anita might have local. a couple of folks she needs killed. Bad oh. folks, I mean. Not uh, not regular folks. She'll be at the security desk behind me. Okay, cool. Chief Jun Lei might have an errand needs running. She's all tied up trying to fix our heat problem. You'll find her in engineering. No kidding? Okay. I'd love to get a look at this old girl's innards. I bet they're real twisty and weird. In a good way. <laughs> you're... Happy you're quite the character. It's my job, after all. Not you. Her. You're real good at it, too. Well, thank you, miss. It's nice to be recognized. Yep. Um... I didn't think there were any independent operators in the system. What do you know? Sublight salvage... Oh, let's just go Are with you it all. Pulling my leg? I'm new right here. You must be one of them long-haul freighters from outside the colony. 
Well, I won't hold it against you. Okay, it goes that's like good. This. Back on Earth, before the crossing, the powers that be were selling off stakes in distant star systems they thought had potential. Okay. A bunch of companies decided to throw in together and form the Halcyon Holdings Corporation, then buy up the rights to this here colony. That groups what we now call the board. Okay, that makes sense. How does Groundbreaker, Groundbreaker fit into it? was one of the original colony vessels to come over on the crossing a few years before her sister ship, the Hope. Once oh, everybody been deep the one that I was on dirt side, the original crew of the Groundbreaker decided they rather liked the spacefaring life. I guess that was the start right. of our independent spirit. Now here we are. The board runs most of the system, yep. don't they? Groundbreaker's the only real independent port. Aside from us, there's just tramp freighters and wildcat miners. Yeah. Seems like every year the board's offices get bigger and their ships take up more of the landing base. Haven't seen nearly as many tramp crews this year. Huh. So there's actually a boardroom somewhere with all these company heads Sitting in Sitting around drinking whiskey and smoking cigars, yeah, probably. Can't say for sure, of course. I like I'll you. Ever see the inside of it I think I have a spot on my ship for you if you want to... Glad um, to help. Come work for me. Relative to the board holdings? Not really. But there's a few with the means to go where they will. They aren't rich, but they aren't likely to look too close at your work history. Bunch of misfits. <laughs> they strip know? the parts from derelict ships and abandoned outposts. There's some that say they make the derelicts and encourage folks to abandon their steads. Oh. Some light gives me the creeps. I've known folks who went to work for them and just vanished. They're on the promenade run by a woman named Lilia Hagen. I'm only telling you so you know to avoid them. Okay, I'll right. uh, keep that in mind. I'm looking for someone Depends. named Gladys. You'll find her in the rest and go. On your left when okay. you enter the promenade. Make cool. sure you bring an empty belly. Uh, looking for a drink. Most places are on the promenade deck. Big door yonder. Straight through security. There's a bar on the starboard side. Oh, I got a preference nice. for the lost hope myself. Talk to Vera. She'll set you right. Okay. Got it, Vera. You need anything else? You let me know. Don't want anyone saying Groundbreaker is not the most hospitable port in the colony. Okay. You noticed, huh? Yeah, a little bit. I I'm sharp like that. What can I say? <laughs> We're passionate folks, and the board can't abide that independent spirit, especially not when it might impact their bottom line. All their mm -hmm. interstellar freighters come through us, and we skim a few bits off the top and manifest processing fees with every one. Ooh. Folks around here will bluster that the board hates our freedom, but really, they know we can stop their out-system shipments any time we like, and that terrifies them. Oh. Well, you should do that, then. Yet your station's in a state of disrepair. Why can't Groundbreaker and the board just work together? I'm glad it terrifies them. The bastards keep pushing them. It's a delicate balance, right? We could cancel their freighter's docking privileges in retaliation, but where'd that lead us? They've yeah. got assault cruisers, gunships, and a handful of mining operations at their fingertips. If we push them too hard, maybe they decide we'd be better in 10 trillion little pieces. Or they cobble together a new groundbreaker and put us out of business. That's the true. The board wouldn't do that, would they? You're very naive. It's a tough line to walk. I like you, about but that. you're very naive. But we may do all right. So far, anyway. Uh, how about this one? He's friendly enough unless you speak ill of the board. Get the sense he doesn't care for Groundbreaker much. Uh -huh. Not that he would, being a board man and all. He's our liaison. Ah, thanks for the Good info. Thing. See you around. Be seeing you. It'd be nice if you would actually, if you could actually join us, but, you know, um, this way? In here? Yes. Yes. Who are you? Workbench. Oh, right there. <laughs> Move along. Okay, moving along. What are you? I picked Security. up this weird signal the other day. It was coming from Monarch. Here we go again. No one lives on Monarch. It's a wasteland. You were hearing things. Uh huh. No, seriously. There was a lot of static yeah, okay. at first, but then this voice Mardet. said his name was Graham. Hmm. Graham, right? Hey. Broadcasting on a dead world. Uh, hi, Mardet. I don't know who you are. Can I? Slap your whole family tonight. Okay. More dead. More dead. Oh, that's. The 
those are just titles people have or something? Hmm. Interesting. Oh man, I have to walk so slow. Bell's shells discovered. Installation crew. Ooh. <coughs> Excuse me. Hey, Bell. You know that sound when you've snapped on an injector clip? Ah, that's how you know your weapon loves you back. Oh. I got really? a full line of weapon modifications I'd be happy to show you. Thanks. Um, I, I know, already know the benefits of modifying my weapons. Hunting rifle. Plasma rifle. Shock cannon. Grenade launcher. Bolter pistol. Revolver. This is everything you got? Mag 2 melt. Restricted stock. You cannot purchase this restricted stock. How about we go sell? Uh, sell my junk. Repair everything. Oh man, I only have 959 bits. I thought I had more than that. Alrighty. Sell, 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 sell. Um, oh, let's go to the weapons. New no, armor, new. No. Lots of medical stuff. So what do I have now? I have 773. Right. What have you got back here? A whole lot of stuff, but I can't take any of it. Because I can't... Ah, oh, there we go. Now I can sprint all of a sudden. Steve Door. Freighter crew. What's in here? I can pick that. I wonder what they do with their waste. I guess they just chuck it down here. Where the hell go? I shall take that. Thank you. Where's the other one? There we go. Got that. Climb down. Uh, how about I stay up top? You know, keep watch. Okay? Why? You don't want to come down and check out the waste? Well, you came down anyways. Um, there's a dead body down here. Frankie got a lead on some local salvage. One of the groundbreaker's old hangers was bricked over until someone found it by poking around the St Steve Dewar's quarters. Laya gave us the go-ahead to plant her flag once we clear out the new arrivals. I'm sending you to scout. Look for a loose panel. You got to climb on top of their bunks and head toward the back wall. Laya says we should watch her back. She thinks we're being tailed. In other words, typical Laya. Well, considering that he died, I don't think that was typical Lalaya. I'm pretty sure that, uh... Oh, weird. I thought I saw something there. Um... I'm fairly certain that, uh... Something bad happened. Medical bay... Spacious choice... Where's the Steve Doers? Sublights, Halcyon, uh, drone. Go back to Byzantium, you gold plated bastard. Have you bastard. seen this man? Reward yeah, offered no for information needed for the capture of Lord of Terrors. Report any sightings to your local home. Auntie's Auntie. kitchen? So if I every time I discover a new area. I'm just gonna hang in the back. Try not to touch anything. Um, we don't want to go in there. <laughs> nope. Groundbreaker's promenade discovered. Engineering. Ike's armory. Are you Ike? You are Ike. Spratwurst? Ah! 
Yeah, okay. That's interesting. Sublight salvage and shipping. Oh, neat! They got stuff in here I ain't seen in ages. Well, yeah, they're kind of a salvage come group, it sounds like. Okay. C and chicken and potatoes. At C and we know our C and Public terminal. What is it called? Recent users. Callahan M. You made your special choice when you signed the employment contract. I keep telling you that the hat doesn't fit right. There's something wrong with it. How many people have worn this thing before me? Is this my life now? Because if it is, I'll take it. I'll be your moon man. But there won't be anything left of me to care. Okay. Are you okay, honey? Hope you're doing well, Mom. Thought I'd check in. Engineers t visit the shop a bunch. I remember when I used to turn a wrench back home on Terra 2. Lelia Hagen over in Sublight told me that I could always pursue a career in salvage if this thing doesn't work out. Please give Dad and others a hug for me. Mom, it's really great that we can stay in touch like this. Little reminders of home are more important than ever. Enjoy the quality spacious choice goods I sent. You can get ones just like them at home, but I figured you might appreciate me getting a, the company discount and all. Return to root. Public notices. The heat. I know it's bad, as the one whose office is closest to our radiators, you can imagine why I want to make three showers every want to take three showers every day. I hear you. We've got eyes on the problem and hands and tools. It's a mechanical problem with a mechanical solution. In the meantime, enjoy some additional water rations and take breaks. You deserve them. If you're thirst if you're thirsting for cooler air, talk to your closest engineer about spots with favorable circulation. Seeking contractors. Lelia Hagen, okay. Seeking ethically flexible spacer with stellar bay and landing clearance. Ethically flexible. I think I fit under that. Payment in exchange for return of legal salvage. Details given upon acceptance of contract. Active warrants, prior convictions. No questions asked. Our background checks filter out criminal red flags. Plausible deniability in the sublight way. Is the sublight way. See Lelia Hagen for details. Warehouse next to Sprat Spratworth Joint. Second floor. Loitering on Boyd property is strictly prohibited. The Halcyon Holdings corporate office and its environs are for conducting official board business only. Anyone found misusing board property will be fined accordingly. Board property includes, but is not limited to, Halcyon Holdings office here on Groundbreaker. The space directly in front of my desk, the space directly behind my desk, my doorway, my berth, and, most importantly, my stairs. Thank you for your cooperation, Udom Bedford, certified liaison. P.S. Please note that the next spacer caught drinking on the stairs outside the embassy may find themselves on the rude side of an airlock. PPS. This is the third time I've had to post this message and I'm sick and tired of it. I will not hesitate to open a board sanctions investigation into your behavior and when you, you are caught, punish you accordingly. Felix Millstone. Well, you sound like a jerk. Are you listening to me, Emperor? You can't keep me out of there. Please don't make a scene, Dr. Fenhill. I am not. Hey. I'm sorry. Am I causing a scene? Um. See, Emperor? We could have avoided all this unpleasantness if you just let me talk to Jesse in the first place. Who's Jesse? What's this about? Well, let me get one thing straight. Jesse and I are not friends. I just owe her, okay? Uh -huh. As for the rest, I'm trying to figure that out. All I know is that she's been here too long, and she's apparently not receiving visitors. Huh. Interesting. Wait, you don't even like her, but you're checking on her? <laughs> this situation sounds normal to me. Um, yeah, that... You say that like it's weird. It is weird. That's just very noble of you. It is most certainly not. And watch where you go saying that, okay? You're gonna get <laughs> the wrong idea. I just don't like to leave a debt unpaid. 
That's all. Uh huh. Sure. Maybe I can look in on Jesse. Be my guest. If you know something I don't about dealing with hospital bureaucracy, I'll be impressed. A quest objective requires you to enter a restricted area. If caught inside, you will be shot on sight. Using a disguise will prevent immediate hostilities. What seems to be the problem? Um, if I'd like to speak to Jesse. If only other patients had so many inquiring after them. I'll tell you what I've told the others. The records say Ms. Doyle checked herself in and requested I admit no visitors. The requests of our patients are paramount. So no, you may not see her. Okay. The records say... Have you actually spoken to her yourself? She's not my patient. I'm certain no one on my staff would falsify patient records. If that's what you're implying. I am implying that. Take care. Okay. So I need to put on a disguise of some kind? How do I put on a disguise? How do you do disguises? Um... How do you do this stealth? Restricted area. Holographic shroud. The holographic shroud projects a disguise on you and your companions that gives you access to restricted areas, provided you have the correct ID cartridge for that area. Restricted areas are off limits to unauthorized personnel and otherwise result in being attacked on sight. So, where do I find... Where, where, what is this thing and how do I use it? What is this? Reed's Key. A key to Reed's room, located above the Edgewater Cannery. Ha! <laughs> I still have the finger. How do I use this thing? So, somehow I need to get... A Can I just walk in here? I can't just walk in here. Okay, cool. That's the restricted area. Uh, well, I it looks like I can just pick this up. You have found an ID cartridge to use in the holographic shroud. You will now be automatically disguised when entering the re the associated restricted area. Sweet. Okay. Before I go in here, I'm going to save it. So. Holographic disguise activated. Your holographic shroud is, was activated, giving you temporary access to this restricted area. Moving drains the shroud's energy. When it runs out, pers personnel will see and interrogate you. Talk your way out of the interrogation to reset your shroud. It will get harder to talk your way out the more you are interrogated. Okay. Quarantine? Operating room. Keep your sights out, friend. Stay in the public areas and we'll get along fine. You ever wonder if maybe folks keep doors closed for a reason? No, not really. Ellie sent me. What? Why? Everything's fine. We're all fine here. No need for her to be worrying her pretty little head about me. I'm just terrible, dreadful sick is all. Got a cough that won't quit and sores all over my body. Highly, lethally contagious. But I'll be fine, so long as I'm left alone. Uh... She is worried about you a lot. Okay. The What's truth going is, on? I'm not sick. But if you repeat what I'm about to tell you to anyone, I will deny it with my dying breath. Okay. You uh ain't with the board, are you? No. <laughs> See, I owe them a lot. I might have missed a payment or two, and the other night I swear someone was following me back to my room. So I hold up here to lay low. Oh. 
Okay. What did you do that got you in trouble? What? I'm not no, gonna say that I work for the board. I'm a law-abiding denizen of this ship, I swear. Uh-huh. Yeah, you think the board had someone follow you and now you're hiding out. Think? No. I recognize a contracted killer when I see one, thank you. In my line of work, that's a skill you develop during week one. Uh-huh. Assuming you want to keep breathing. All right, I'll fess this part up too, if it means you'll help me. I'm a thief. I specialize in particularly high-end and historically valuable items. Really? Three weeks back, I caught rumor that the Blood Tear Diamond, last worn by an heiress on the Lost Hope, had surfaced for the first time in 70 years. Hmm, interesting. So you stole it. If I had, you think I'd be hiding out in the med bay? <laughs> I was gonna steal it, lined up Udom as my buyer. He paid half up front to finance the operation. Uh -huh. Let's just say things went sideways about the time I got my hands on the diamond, and it crumbled to stardust in my palm. Anywho, so I barely made diamond. it out with my life, and nary a plan to make back Udom's deposit I'd spent. Yeah, Udom Bedford's that'll... the board guy on the station. He'd know how I stand with them. If you can square things for me, I'd owe you one even bigger than Ellie owes me. I'll talk to Udom for you. Thanks for helping me with the board. You're a real pal. Or I guess I should say, Ellie is one, huh? Considering she's the one that sent me in here, probably. Wow, you look, uh, very, uh, official. What's in here? I'm gonna hack it. Cause, uh... Sure, we'll take that stuff. All right, need to get out of here. My my outfit's wearing off. Yeah, there, there we go. Got it. Okay, made it. All right. Spacer's choice. Hi. Rest and go. We interrupt your regularly scheduled advertisement for the following story. Uh huh. The board would like to remind spacers. Of no. Don't want to hear it. All right, let's go talk to this uh this uh engineering lady down here. Ooh. Here's the lady, though. Junlei Tennyson. I'm captain around here, but chief to my friends. Hope you don't mind the formal introduction. Groundbreaker doesn't see many visitors. Oh. Okay. I'm captain the unreliable, though my ship's a bit grounded at the moment. Nice to meet you. No, it isn't. It's a mess. But it's my mess, so I'll take the compliment. Just You're so we understand each other, I'm the final word on the ship. The okay. Marditz, the crew, the engineers, their family. I hope there won't be any problems while you're visiting. Uh, no, the only problem I have... I don't know how to start any fights, but I might have to end some. I'll do whatever I can to help you keep the peace. That, Good. That works. Don't go making trouble, and chances are you won't find any. That's how I like it here. Okay. So what brings you to Groundbreaker? I'm curious, even though nine times out of ten, the answer is just passing through. Um, once I get out of Impound, I'm bound for Monarch. Interesting. The powers that be paint an ugly picture of Monarch. Critters and such. Maybe someone in the promenade can get you the right weapon for the job. We see a lot Maybe. of the same faces coming and going. Most of them board spies and corporate sprats. Makes it hard to trust outsiders. You seem different. So welcome aboard. Thank you. Appreciate that. Uh... Parvati wanted to talk what? to you. I didn't think you just... Parvati, is it? That's a lovely name. What can I do for you? 
I was just thinking, I haven't got much experience working with actual, real spaceships, Miss Junlei. Uh, uh, Chief Junlei. <laughs> Junlei is fine. Well, what? <laughs> uh, I'll just nudge um, her. Okay. Since you run a whole space station, I was wondering if, well, maybe you could teach me some things. I could message you later, maybe? I'd be happy to make the time, Parvati. You can ask me anything. Parvati, don't be shy about requesting time off if you need to compare notes in person. Right. In person. Sh sure thing, Captain. <laughs> wow, great. I I'll do that then. Messages. Later. Oh, your your name's pretty too. I should have said sorry. I like it. Honest. Sorry. You are. You are. <laughs> Couldn't have done it without your moral support, Captain. <laughs> now, if there's nothing else, there are other parts of the ship begging for my attention. You are too precious. It's getting kind of warm here. What's going on? Groundbreakers radiators need replacement parts. They're dumping superheated air into my ship. Okay. Well, why would you fix them yet? Only the board has access to new parts. Oh. And I won't let them swindle me into a corner. Okay. I'm sure the board doesn't want groundbreakers. They probably None. do. Every time I give in to the board, Groundbreaker loses its freedom. Oh, Soon there okay. won't be anything left. I can't allow that. Makes sense. The that board really isn't does. helping, and my resources are spread thin. If I don't get those radiators back online, Groundbreaker, everyone aboard, will be cooked alive. Okay. You need a contractor to work this out. I'm available for a reasonable rate. Yeah. Reasonable, huh? That's the best news I've heard all day. According to my grandmother's old schematics, the parts we need should be in the back bays. Okay. Got it. I'll take care of that right now. Hold on. There's something you should know before you go charging off. The back bays are on a lower deck, long abandoned, and a haven for miscreants now. Not a problem. We do those parts from the back bays. Good. Once you've obtained the parts, we can proceed to the next phase of repairs. Sounds good. So that is my next step. Which is that way, apparently. Journal. Guys, all that stuff. Really? Okay, there we go. Worst contract: convince Udon Bedford to clear Jesse's debts. New parts for the radiators. That one. We're gonna try to get as many of these at least started before uh, we call it a day. CNP Borst Pocket can be macroed in two and a half seconds. Borst Pocket. Wait, in here? Yes. You! Can't say I've seen you before. I take it you're a freighter, Captain? Yes, that would if be me. If you're here to better yourself, you'll have to wait. We're having a spot of trouble with our delivery service. Uh, Wheeler told me to tell you to get off his ass about your shipment. Wheeler says your shipment won't be coming in, in soon. Let's go. Is this a medical Sure pack? is. You need a deft hand to straighten a busted nose or sparkle up those not so pearly whites? I'm your gal. Of course, um, there's not much cosmetic improvement going on at the moment. Not without my mechanicals. Earth I don't law is eerie in any way. What's going on? I'm expecting our delivery fellow to stop through with medical supplies and service auto mechanicals. Name's Captain Erion. A brave idiot with a penchant for getting himself delayed. Sometimes by dates, usually by bandits. Oh. I can try to find him. I'd be grateful if you'd spare the time. We need his delivery soon as yesterday. Last he told me, he was taking a shortcut by Scylla, an asteroid in the Charybdis Cluster. Okay. That's where I'd start, were I the adventuring type. Sounds like you a plan. look out, though. The place is probably crawling with outlaws. Probably. 
But I like outlaws. They make for good target practice. Okay. What other quests do we have in here? Oh yeah, I need to do that. I'm gonna go here. Get all these things started before we uh, head out. Hiya. Where are you? I don't know what that does. I need to go Welcome in. Welcome to Sublight Salvage and Shipping, a legitimate business for legitimate consumers. Yeah. The one flying the unreliable? Yes. Miss Lily has been expecting you. I'll unlock the door. Thanks. You're a sublime sure employee. I am. A few years back, they got me started on simple acquisitions. You know those latches they put on cargo bays ain't worth a damn? These days, I stick to HQ and look after Miss Lilia. Uh-huh. Okay. Hi. So you're the new captain in town. I was hoping you'd make your way to my office. Saves me the work of hunting you down. Lilia Hagen, CEO and Executive Director of Aggressive Operations. I'm guessing you already know about Sublight, otherwise you wouldn't have come. Yeah. <laughs> Never heard of you. Not a word. Pity. My guy in marketing is about to lose his other thumb. Oh, that's great. It's nice great. to see the unreliable again. Useful ship. Hawthorne was my contractor. I'd recognize that leaky boat of his anywhere. Really? I didn't kill him. <laughs> Don't let Ada hear you calling her ship names. <laughs> is Ada still at the helm? I don't know how many times I told Hawthorne to rebuild <coughs> the smart ass to factory settings. Nah. I have a salvage job for someone light on corporate ties with a reliable set of wings. But there's a catch. There always is. Just like in the serials. If you have a nav key to Stellar Bay, the job's yours. Interested? I do have a nav key to Stellar Bay. Wait. What? First, I thought I had an an embargo that's bait. been active ever since the board pulled its forces off world. Few regulations, plenty of freedom. And second, all the goodies that no one had time to pack. Huh. I don't have one. I like that initiative, but ease back on the throttle. Gladys at the rest and go might have what you need. Okay. So if talk there's anything Gladys. else, be quick about it. Time is bits. I take it Sublight isn't strictly a salvage operation? These days, the scrap business all but runs itself. Gives me the time to expand our interests into other sectors, where I can let my hair down. Your hair's not long enough to be let down. <laughs> what kinds of other sectors? Our field is persuasive acquisitions. At least, that's how my legal advisors tell me to phrase it. Oh, okay. Not all of our salvage is abandoned when we find it. Sometimes it takes a polite conversation and a shot across the bow. You know, legal formalities. Uh-huh. So you're a company of bureaucratic pirates. Sounds complicated, but profitable. Thank you. I work hard to keep it that way. You're very honest about uh, Sublight's criminal side. How organized is this business? Back to my other question. Uh, yeah, that one. Hey, careful with the C word around here. I like to keep things above board, and that kind of talk only makes trouble. I don't care. Sublight occupies a legal blind spot. No one knows what we're licensed to do, and that gives our little business some freedom. But let's not tempt fate. Uh huh. Okay. How organized is this business? Very. I have this thing about numbers in spreadsheets, grids in general. Okay. I like to think of myself as the last honest businesswoman in Halcyon, but oh. I'll settle for being the most organized one. 
Okay. Back to my Ask. other questions. I have nothing to hide. Yeah, well, that's it. All right. seen <laughs> Make sure you aren't followed on your way out. Okay. Make sure I'm not followed on my way out. Well, um, okay. Use. I don't know what that does. Does that call the elevator? <laughs> Make sure I'm not followed on my way out, so I need to make sure that nobody follows me on my way out. Other than for faulty. Yeah. Okay. 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 Let's go over here and talk to this person over here. And... Hi. Bless my heart. A stranger come knocking on a poor old woman's door. Yes. You here for a particular reason? Yes, I am, actually. Or did the neighbors tell you how good my sugar cookies are? Made without a single natural ingredient or an oven. Just like store-bought. Huh. <sighs> Don't know if I like that. Those have been the height of illegality since Stellar Bay turned their noses up at the board. You and I could be thrown to the void just for discussing such a transaction. Lucky for us, Groundbreaker's a free port. We're outside yeah, the port's good. control. For the time being, at least. Now, I only have the one nav key. And they're hard to come by these days. It won't be cheap. If you find yourself lacking in the bits, I might have an opportunity you'd be interested in. I'll take the opportunity, because I don't have the bits. Tell me about this opportunity. Well, I find I'm in need of a ship captain with a little... moral flexibility. That would get out of me. help out the groundbreaker, as well as earn some bits. But if you've got qualms... No! No qualms! No qualms here! Do you know Edna over in engineering? Yes. No, Sweet no. as a pea, that one. On occasion, she'll pass along transmissions I might find interesting. Okay. She sent me a recording of a distress signal she'd scraped from the groundbreaker's comm array. Curious thing is, it yeah. came from an outpost called Roseway. And Auntie Cleo abandoned that place years ago. Hmm. Interesting. Say the Mormon. You've got an ear for intrigue and a nose for bits. I like that. Yes, to both. Here's a copy of the SOS recording complete with the coordinates. Okay. If you should find a secret worth selling, might be I could find a buyer. Corporate bigwigs will pay top bit for inside information on their competitors. Ooh, okay. The more we got the corpse fighting each other, the less time they got to meddle in our affairs. Abandon outpost, corporate secrets. Got Don't it. Don't forget to come find old Gladys when you're done. Oh, I will. I will. What jobs do you know? Might want to acquaint yourself with Junlei Tennyson, Groundbreaker's chief. She's been trying to get a handle on this heat problem we've got. You'll find her fretting in engineering. Well, I, I already talked to her. I'd say she's a sweet girl, but law for Fen, someone call me a liar. I don't know, uh, ma'am. She seemed pretty neat to me. Well, aren't you sweet? And just her type, too. Oh, okay. What? What's that supposed to mean? Forget I said anything. Um. Uh, we're good. Anytime, sweetheart. You know where to find me. Purple Berry you Bunch. Take a candy with you. Oh, thanks. Ah, right, level up! Yay! Okay. Let's see, what are we working on? I think we're working on our, our dialogue. Get that up to 30, that up to 30. Sure, we'll go with melee a little bit. And E, except perks. Okay, and then we want... Damage when alone in party, walk speed, sprint speed, weapon and armor durability loss, companion crit chance, science weapon magazine size, damage weapon. I think we'll go with the carrying capacity. Yes. Then it's one more, right? Yeah, one more. 
Okay. Why do I have an enemy? Why do I have enemies? That would be why. I think. Wait, what is this? Where? What? What is this? Squatter's Journal. I served on two corporate freighters before I got sta stranded here. Everyone's heard my sob story, but no one's listening. To them, I'm just background radiation. It wasn't my fault the captain decided to take off early. It wasn't my fault no one checked the crew manifest. It wasn't my fault they replaced me with a full timer. Now I'm filthy, bitless, and bedless. As far as anyone's concerned, I'm groundbreaker trash. That's how I live. And if no one agrees to take me on as his crew, I suppose that's how I'll die. Who are you? I'll take that. I'll take that. And I'll take that. Who is this person? More stuff. Hello? Necklace, energy cell. Whoa, where am I? <laughs> where am I going? Oh, um. Mr. Ouch. Where is this? It would appear that my uh, lock picking ability is not high enough. Still, medical bay keycard. What happened here? Oh, nope. Going back this way. Interesting. Very interesting. I don't know who this guy was. Up here. This is Halcyon News. We interrupt your regularly scheduled advertisement for the following show. Ah, bypass shots that I can actually take for free. Thank you. Do you have what it takes to defend the corporate township from the dangers of wildlife and Okay. When might we expect you out? What am I supposed to be doing here? Leah Hagen needs someone who can navigate the Stellar Bay. Oh, I have to. Okay, that's that's what that was. Okay. Happiness in a warm space. The distress signal on my ship. Okay. Let's see, la. Reliable, ask Ada. Alright. So I guess I'm gonna do this one. Who knows? Calls are scarce. Look What is this? Oh, the lost hope bar. The news packet has a top. Okay. So I need to go talk to this dude over here. And this will get the rest of my quests at least what I need to do on this ship, I ah, think. Yes. Mostly on Wheeler the messaged me you were coming. He must be the captain of the Unreliable. Yes, a I am. That used to be helmed by one Alex Hawthorne. And you are not he. No, I'm not. Has something happened to my favorite scruffy freelancer? Um. 
Alex is an important name here to turn in Fini uh, Alex is dead. Oh no, this is terrible. My dear friend, what I devilry is this? Doubt he was in actually whose your miserable dear friend. fever dream am I trapped? Wow, you're um I'm sorry for your loss. Oh, Alex. There were so many arguments we'd yet to have. Uh-huh. <laughs> no, uh, Alex is important. I'm here to turn in Phineas. Well, no. He was my dearest friend. My only friend. You have his ship, you must know. That picture of us on the promenade, me hugging him, him wincing. I keep a copy beside my bed. Did he? No. Uh, yep, he sure did. Oh, that's just <laughs> like him. Such a sentimental man. Tell me, how did he die? Uh, hit in the head by... Uh, he was no. able, eaten by feral canids. How dreadful. It gives me experience, that's why I'm doing always it. always Alex's greatest fear, you know. Devoured by those fiends. Becoming one with their... Their droppings. Uh-huh. Can we get back to the topic at hand? Right, right. You're going important places, I'm sure. Big, exciting, important places. <laughs> yes, there. very much so. the flag from your ship. I'm terribly sorry for the inconvenience. Uh, however, before you go, Alex promised to tell me the location of Phineas Wells. I'm sure you've seen his wanted posters all over the colony. Did Alex tell you where Wells might be? Anything at all? No. Nope. Alex never mentioned Phineas That's, Wells. Uh, well, <laughs> it's not a lie. Just terrible news. Oh, what am I going to do now? The board will have my head. Well, oh, not my I'm problem. Sorry, this is terribly unprofessional of me. Is there anything else I might help you with? Yes, actually, there is. Um, I'm here about Jesse Doyle. Miss Doyle owes the board a significant sum. Alas, the only collateral she has is her organs. Compulsory donation is quite legal in such cases. Okay. She's worth more alive than dead, but put her under an indenture contract. That's like that one. Not unreasonable. I guess it's better than losing your organs, but I don't know, Captain. It just doesn't seem right. Miss Doyle true. is deeply in debt. And the board has every right to do whatever they like to recoup that debt. What guarantee do I have that she'll agree to the terms you negotiate? Uh, way I see it, she doesn't have much choice. None, I suppose, but if she doesn't show up for work, kill her like you planned. I don't think I'll say wh where she is. Where I see she doesn't have I much quite choice. Concur. It's refreshing to deal with someone practical for a change. I will recall my collection agent. Tell Miss Doyle to report to me promptly for her first assignment. Now, is there anything else you need, or can I return to my work? Um, I wanted to ask you something else. Be my guest. What do you do here exactly? Can you get me to Stellar Bay? Can you give me a cellar bay? Good law. Who'd want to go to that toxic hell pit? Me? I wouldn't have asked if I didn't want to go. So... No. No? Emphatically no. Unequivocally no. Immutably no. Okay. Well, thanks. No would have done it. You didn't have to crack open the, 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 Best the, to be the clear, source. I believe. Um... No. Ask We're away. Good. Uh... No, we're good. I'm not turning in Phineas. Alright. So, now... now? Who's in the medical bay, apparently. Okay, cool. Wish I could say it was good. Hey! The came through the wireless. Looks like you paid my debt to Jesse. I guess that means I owe you now, right? 
Tell uh, me what, I'm a little short on bits at the moment, but I'm a decent scrapper and a better than average sawbones. Oh, if cool. If you're looking for a medic, I can work my debt off. Sounds good. Are you saying you'll work for me just because I helped Jesse? If I'm being honest, and I prefer not to, I was about ready to pick up another contract anyway, and you settled this in a pretty tidy fashion, which tells me you're competent. Okay, cool. But we can say I'm repaying the favor if you prefer that version. Welcome aboard, Ellie. You won't be sorry. Or if you are, just add it to my debt and we'll figure something out. <laughs> Welcome to the crew, Miss Ellie. We're real happy to have you. Ellie can now join the party. Sweet. Bye, Jesse. Okay, what's the passage to anywhere? Where do these go? Okay, over here. Okay. So I have to go down? Down. Good. Down we go. To the back base. It's a little cold here. All right. So it looks like this is this. There's a lot to do on this ship. So we're gonna end this one here, and then we'll pick it up next time. So thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this. If you did, you know what to do. Like the video, share the video, and subscribe to the channel. Don't forget to ring that bell. Because when you ring that bell, you get a notification every time I post a video as I do daily. We'll see you guys next time. Until then, keep your head up and keep moving forward. This is Rafnum signing off. Bye bye.